Be no black folks. Basically, I'm reporting to you here from my. Basically, this is going to be a future. Uh, actually, what what I'm at is I'm at my news, and I'm showing you the 6.2 quake basically off a guy's video that I had here that I posted on the bottom of my uh, deal. What you're going to see is we're going to show you dramatic. Of, this was what he was talking about of the alignment on a quake, and I can hit play here. I don't think the sound will squish shots. up too much. In fact, I'll do that, and I think that's what he says. In fact, well, there was alignment there, and he said he started talking about the two-day, well, and basically you've seen the 27th, they skipped through the 28th to the 29th real fast. Well, the factual is, it's, it basically is like I've been saying, that the idea that when we get an alignment or we have an object also coming by recently that I can go to, that will show that the idea that we pretty much get dramatic. This is basically a scare tactic here. I don't know what the heck they're trying to give you BS out there about this here story. Uh, it's it's way out. It's not going to do anything. But we will get a lull like we do when we get any big object or an object coming by. Okay, this thing is like almost two kilometers large or something like that. We'll go to space weather here in a little bit. But basically, the press is trying to get you interested in, remember, DA-14 was the, the closest thing that's going to come by Earth for generations and generations and generations to come, okay? So, anyway, this here's a bunch of BS that they're giving you on this thing here. What I was going to do is zoom in and zoom out and show you what I've been showing you in the past, the idea that everything we've been looking at, my videos, and I, uh, there really is no apology. I've just been real busy with my legal sabbatical and also with my website, and I'll show you that on, the, on here in a minute. And then I'm going to zoom in on this, and you'll see that the idea that the millions of miles that is away from Earth, and then it looks so close when it, when you're sitting there looking at it on the on the deal. This object's way the hell out, millions of miles away. And I have told you a long time ago, DA14 was going to come to like 13,700, and it's what it actually did. It was right under 14,000 miles, okay, from Earth. So you really don't have to worry about any of this stuff that they try to throw in the news media. It's all propaganda. People are not watching TV. And I'm going to give you a past example why they're not. And this is why they're not watching TV. Now, for a, a funny pun, because there's a, it, you watch the dates and the times and stuff like that, I'm going to show you a title on a... On a uh, I'll go to another deal here. And anyway, Vincent Fox has made an actual... And I'm going to actually make a prediction, and he's not much wrong on this. And this is why we've been having this gun from Washington, D.C., and stuff like that from Pennsylvania Avenue and stuff like that. It's all, it's very interesting to see where people, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, you all know, we all know that it's basically we're getting weather of the dirty 30s from out in space. And we got all time record highs of temperatures. Now where does this tie into the, and then you, well, that's a pretty big statement there, big marijuana, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen there. So anyway, but Mr. Fox makes a good, because basically what it's going to do is Mexico is going to become a pretty peaceful area because the idea of what's going to happen is we're going to have just what we've had in the dirty 30s up here when we had prohibition. Uh, we, if we think that we've seen drug stuff and action with guns, which I'm pro-gun, so this is another reason why you need to be pro-gun because you need to have a gun to defend yourself against anybody who's doing anything fighting for territory in the United States of America. Okay. And basically, I'm pro to make it uh, basically the way it's being set up, that the I, the factual that there's medical marijuana places, okay? But this this story here ties in and gives you the, bleeds you the truth of the idea that why something to do with somebody in Washington, D.C. upholds rifle sales reporting requirement. Why? Because they can see the dirty 30s and this, everything's going to calm down in Mexico, because they're going, they're losing business left and right. I mean, it's it's pretty much toastorama. That's why there's tons of of certain municipal, which is basically it's all herbs getting thrown over the border, because the idea that it's worthless in a sense because they know that basically what this what this person here is saying straight out, uh, all the all the people telling talking in this story here is totally this the truth, is the idea that it's getting died out. And it is, no matter what, it's the fastest revenue puller in of anything besides cell phone. And when they sell you those ringtones and sell you your cell phone activity and everything like that, 
cell phone companies have a lot of power because they get their money back real fast. You have to pay your cell phone bill or you don't have cell phone action. Well, if you don't pay your herbal supply company, they, you don't get your herbs. So the idea, if you got your herbs and then there's other, you know, everybody drinks. And so everybody makes a ass gash with comments and then Starbucks bans smoking within 25 feet of the store. So it's just, it's kind of hilarious. I thought I'd show you the matchup of the idea that some stories that get propagated. <laughs> and so let's get into some more uh, actual data on some quakes that I was telling you about when we were talking about the alignment here that I go back to when I'm showing you from my uh, news site. And basically I redid some of my news and I'm also showing when when I'm going to show you what with the BS with the propaganda too, ladies and gentlemen. In the future, this is when I last reported the news to you on the 29th, and then I did my legal sabbatical doing my stuff and everything. And then I put some new. Now this is the BS news that I usually put at the bottom of my my news deal. And then I'll put the stuff in there, the news on the herbs and stuff that too, because I do have a link. And that basically, you know, God bless. I did this. I put this tribute in there and did it from that guy's recording and stuff like that. And then this is the video that, and I'll remove this and probably put a new video in there. I'm gonna keep this one up for a while because it tells you about chemtrails and stuff like that. And yes, Bino is pretty broad based about everything that's going on. And when you slide up here through the news, I put the the butt gash and a lot of things on what what's going on in the news of recent. Just below here, where you see they've got tornado action and everything like that that's going on. But let me get back to showing you the factual of on my data is I'm going to be able to show you uh, we're going all the way back to the 30th of April. Okay, I had a 6.2 in, in the Azores. Azores. Okay, now as long as I didn't lose it, I'm going to be able to show you what since we got a, the big object that's coming by. It's a long ways out, but the only thing is, is it's going to make, give us a lull that we'll get because of a lull that we have a matching mark of a 6.2 quake in Germany, people. Okay, in Germany, very solid, very, very solid area. Okay, this is updated in the 29th. Okay, and then if you go through and you can just check, I'm not going to waste video time. You have everybody, you can go and check the, the data there, and I'll try to give you a good example of what of the, the give a donation. You'll be able to match up, and I'll be able to do videos in the future, and you can go to my site that you will do the donations at. And you'll be able to get all the scientific, and probably I'm going to have a weather deal in the next year, and you're going to be able to predict your weather at wherever your location is in the world four weeks ahead of time, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Rain, wind, snow, cold temperatures, warm temperatures. It's going to blow the European agencies away. And you're going to be able to do the weather yourself. You're going to be able to look the satellites and look at the telemetry. So, and then we had the 6.3, 6.0 here at the, on the Samoa and the Fiji Islands and stuff. And our depths, you know, that's very solid quake there, deep. And then you can see there was a 600 that didn't show and so forth here. So, the very much factual is we get a lull. If we've got that two kilometer size object that's out there. So now I'll go to the space weather. They should. Now you're going to get a good example of how this trend that I showed that when we get a lull on the date that it's closest, okay? And we do. We pretty much get a lull. If you look at all the, all, I don't even have to waste time showing you telemetry. You can look at all the earthquake activity action that you can dig up. It's going to be really calm right now because of 1998 QE2. Uh, the sun very much. This magnetical field throughout the solar system very much locks on to Earth like crazy to calm everything down. Okay, and on all the other planets that are in the solar system, plus those planets that I've been showing you like crazy that we've got in our solar system. Okay, and then also you're seeing this. Uh, I don't want to try to say the name of the clouds on the video because I'll end up saying it wrong. But as you see, you get some good mirror action there off of that. Noctilescent clouds. Okay, I did it. I'm not going to say it again. Noctilescent clouds. Okay, and then they give you that. And basically, what that is is electrical activity out in space off our northernmost hemisphere. And then it, you get those noctilescent clouds. Okay, in the sky, mirroring right down onto, yes, onto the water. Okay, and we'll go up here too, and we're going to see 
but you can get the amateur astronomers are getting off of getting shots of this uh, QE2, which is no big deal. Just the idea we get a little bit of calmness from our quake activity from having this object strumming our Van Allen belts. Okay, and yes, it has a little tiny what they're calling a moon that uh, actually orbits around this QE2. So it's a it's a pretty good size object. But like I said, back up the video and you'll see there that we're going to get, and I'll just take it down real fast, we're going to get another matching activity of calmness when we get this 1.9 kilometer object around on the June 12th. Now, the 48 hours before and 48 hours after, we'll get a pretty good size quake, i.e., so be watching on what follows 48 hours from now on QE2, okay? We'll probably get a pretty good boomer somewhere around, and I'm going to show you some footage that I videotaped when I first got done with my legal sabbatical thing. Uh, we had like the 8.2 in Russia and stuff like that. So I apologize for people that mean not being online when we had a big ass quake. Okay, but I just can't be on the internet. Ever. Because remember this 6.0 and the 6.3 and stuff like that around Fiji was the only thing we had plus that, that one in Germany that I showed you the 6.2 in the last 48 hours. Okay, so it all matches up. Now, pretty much while I was away, my legal sabbatical, I want to say hi to my uh, North American ski bunny out west coast of Canada up there. I want to say hi to her and want to say hi to the kids, okay, my son and daughter. So, but uh, California did have an earthquake, a, a five point something while I was on my legal sabbatical thing. Uh, I had to get away from the internet and to go do a bunch of legal stuff or anything like that. And I'm still going to be doing a bunch of stuff, so there'll be some interruption again. So, I'm going to show you again when you go to my news site, you'll be able to tell when I put news on. Or not now. Cal, I'm not. This is just recent here. This is what I'm showing you on, on that USGS. My my other video. I'll have to show what the, the last when we had the 8.2 in Russia and the static action that was going off the sun and everything like that. I captured that. Uh, I had a little bit of time to be able to do that, and I'll be able to give that in the next video with some other stuff matching up to my. Uh, basically, if you make a donation you'll be able to go to my weather watching where you'll be able to, in the next year, you'll be able to predict the weather in your area four weeks ahead of time, ladies and gentlemen. Keep updated on everything, okay? With all the data, because it'll be all at your fingertips. Click, 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 okay? You won't even need to watch TV anymore, watch the news anymore. And here I'm giving you a little peek inside and you'll get a bigger peek in the future, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be able to have you be able to get your weather four weeks ahead of time, ladies and gentlemen, with the next year, within the next year, You'll be able to predict your own weather. Now, I got tons of links in here on this. This is just one page, and it takes you just all kinds of stuff. And then I'll, I'll, the reason I was kind of getting locked up when I was showing you USGS stuff and telling you that because TV relies on you watching the news on TV. Okay, they've got you propaganda. They have you fixated. They have you brainwashed to get their brainwash from you on the news every day. Okay, from watching the weather. Okay, otherwise you really don't give a crap what the news is. Lady. And here's some ass blistering news that's peeling out. And basically the, the hoaxes, we all know about Sandy hoax, but here's your other hoax. And basically, as you can see here, that there's some, and basically I'll show you, because I was showing you my news, and you can read all this. I haven't taken time to read this. I don't even know the whole spin on it, but it's all to do with Boston, and it's all to do with setups and hoaxes and folkses. And the FBI is, you know, they're helping the White House with its hoaxes, folks, and it's getting them to be looking pretty poopy. Pretty poopy. they got to have chicks show up to make sure that nothing happens, make everything kind of subdue the scenes and make everything. So you got to have female FBI agents show up to be, get, get, calm the whole world down of this is like, yeah. Bunch, oh, they're taking a picture of me. Oh, it's a bunch of BS we're trying to filter. And all, oh, the BS isn't working. The BS isn't working, and everybody's seeing through all the hoaxes. Okay, Sandy hoax to Boston hoax. Everybody's seeing what's going on to hoax. A hoaxy hoaxy. And let's show you what's going on to hoaxy hoaxy because I showed in here the idea that I said news flash. Watch this Boston being yanked about Boston news. Watch that. And you can go into my news link. And on my news thing here, I still have this here. Okay. And yeah, they're bringing up everything. I noticed a sidebar was coming up on my recording of this video also. So remember, folks. We're in the dirty 30s, and what's going on is going on. We're in the dirty 30s of the of 2013 with uh, Mary Jane action. Okay, this is all the tornado action vacuum. It's opposite of what we get with the earthquakes. So as you see, 
We've had tornado action. That matches up too. So like I'm saying, you'll be able to read the weather. Now this is my news channel and you can go to the